Hello friends! Welcome back to the Gubba Homestead. I'm Gubba, a first time homesteader following in the footsteps of my homesteading forebearers. I'm out here recording my wins, my losses, everything in between. So make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another Gubba Homestead video. Today, I would like to welcome you to my homesteading farmhouse basement. It's a disaster and it's kind of scary down here. And if you've seen my other video of how I heat my homestead, I have my wood burning stove down here, which is right behind you. And so I'm down here all the time and I'm walking by all of this and it just stresses me out. I don't like having just stuff everywhere. I need to have it organized so I feel good. And I thought, why the heck not video of my cleanup and organization of this, just like I videoed my cleanup of my garden beds. I'm really hoping that I can actually like organize this and get it somewhat, I don't know, functional. I moved two months ago now, maybe three. And so this has kind of been my storage. At my last house, I had these big walk-in closets. I had all these closets throughout the house. Coming to a farmhouse, you don't have walk-in closets because I don't think that they made walk-in closets back in like the 40s, unless maybe you were like royalty or something. But no walk-in closets here, tiny closets. So I have storage down here and as you can see, it's a disaster. And it's also scary down here just because there's like lots of spiders. I don't like spiders and I know I gotta get used to them because I'm out in the farm. I actually just vacuumed one up. Anyways, I'm gonna get started. I'm just gonna video me leaning up and organizing. Literally, I just hope that I can get this looking better than it is right now, because this is just not okay. Let's go. I use this to start fires, so it only makes sense that this would go by the fires. Also, my thought process while I'm going through this, I'm probably gonna be wandering around a lot because I, I jump from thing to thing to thing to thing trying to figure out what I wanna do, so this should be fun. Those boxes over there are boxes for my blinds. I finally got blinds in my house after being a fishbowl for like two months. Love them. Um, just getting rid of the boxes is a whole nother thing because they're big, they're bulky. Sorting that out. Another thing about the farmhouse is I don't have a coat closet. And so I had a lot of coats and just sweaters that I hung in my coat closet along with games and whatnot. Now I just have one ring to hang up coats and I'm working on getting more like organization for hanging up coats, but no coat closet, like no closets. So I thought I had a bag of hangers in the storage. And I just found a bag that is not mine. Um, so this was left from the previous owners. Ooh, a caveman costume, a wig collection. This looks like off of the movie, I think Jack, the main kid. Um, a dress. So it was dry cleaned. I don't know if this is a costume or actually, um, wow, okay. I don't know what this is. A blanket? Hmm. A parka? And there's like a buckle? I was wondering because I looked back in there behind, I have some storage stuff in there and I was like, oh, that looks like hangers. Yeah, I have bags of hangers around. And then I was like, there's something back there. It kind of looks like a tent. Is that mine? Maybe, I don't know. I'll, I'll take a look at it later. Anyways, uh, I guess hidden treasures. Um,
freaking nasty spider in there. I like really don't like spiders and yet I moved out to the farm. I'm gonna put all this back into the bag and it's gonna go, ooh gosh. It's gonna go get donated. <sighs> ooh, I just, okay. I can do hornets, I can do other stuff, just spiders, like, mm-mm. And I just like, ooh, this spider was in like this old, these old, this old clothes bag. Ugh. I'll feel better with gloves. So winter is an amazing time to organize your house because you're mostly inside the house, it's cold outside. So instead of sitting around, you can go through your stuff. You can get rid of stuff, you can donate stuff, you can take it to Goodwill. I would recommend finding a local organization that instead of reselling your clothes, actually just gives away your clothes so you can donate it. It's usually a church or some organization, at least that's what I've found before in the past. And then you take it to them, you donate your clothes or goods, and then they give away the clothes for free instead of reselling it at a higher price like Goodwill does. And I would also recommend checking out the book by Marie Kondo. The book is called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. This completely changed my perspective on cleaning and how I organize my house. And I completely gutted my house after uh, reading this. I don't like having clutter. I hate having stuff just to have stuff. And this book 100% helped me clean and declutter my house and keep it decluttered. The reason why it seemed cluttered in my basement was because I just moved. I had a lot of stuff just thrown about. And then her second book is called Spark Joy and I will link both of those in the description. 100% would recommend. Start with the life-changing magic of tidying up. Seriously, it is life-changing. Maybe you're tending to the garden or chickens or your livestock or whatever and you're not gonna have time to be inside cleaning up. Seriously, winter is the best time to do this. In summer, you wanna be outside, you're in the sun, you're doing fun things. So take time to do it this winter. Get a system and just do it. You will feel so much better. I can't tell you how much a messy space takes up my mind. It literally takes up space in my mind and then it affects me in other areas of my life and I'm just not okay with that. And I want the best for you. So 100% would suggest just going through and decluttering and it's not only decluttering but just being smart about what you bring into your home so it doesn't clutter your mind. So the whole purpose of me cleaning is because I want a clean area, I want to not have stress and anxiety when I walk by here. Eventually I would like to finish off this basement so there's not like creepy crawlies coming in everywhere. It's going to be quite the project. Um, there's a lot of, you know, old farmhousey stuff going on and Every contractor scheduled out to like the year 2040. So I don't know if one day I'll have to do it myself, but for now I just want to get it nice and situated. And we're combining utility boxes right now, which is cool. So when I first moved in, I ran this bug zapper like nonstop 24 seven with popping. because there was so many bugs in the house. I wrote a blog on my website that talked about how I got rid of the bugs, how I sealed my house, what products I use. You can check that out. I don't know if I include the bug zapper, but yeah, just imagine that late night you're trying to sleep and then it's like zip. more treasure.
All right, I'm finished. I organized this. Um, there's obviously this box, the shop vac box, but it's just a matter of getting rid of the box and going to the dump to do so. But besides that, this is organized. Everything's been condensed. Way better than it was before I got rid of garbage. I got a bag of donation stuff. Oh, I feel so much better just walking down into this versus walking down into what it was. Like that just, ooh, bugs me, like fills my mind. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any good cleaning and organizing tips, make sure to tell me in the comments. Don't do anything you go and do. And thanks for coming out to my homestead and watching me clean up the farmhouse basement. Have a good one. Bye.